Negotiating your salary, especially as a college student, is probably one of the most nerve-wracking things. And you're probably overthinking it. The reality comes down to it is that the companies want you to take the offer. They want you to be happy. And it costs a ton of money to recruit people. When a company recruits you as an intern or full-time employee, they're most likely spending $20,000 to $100,000 to get you. So by you signing that offer, it's going to save them a lot of time and money in the future trying to replace you. So you are valuable. What my story came down to was that I knew I was going to take Microsoft once I got it. But in my head, I was like, okay, I'm going to go to my interview with Intuit. I'm going to get a competing offer. And if I get $5,000 more from Microsoft, going to my Intuit on-site will be worth it. And I also won't have any regrets. So I get into it and the day comes, I have my phone call, set up my recruiter and I give him a call. And I say, hey, Riley, I'm super interested in Microsoft. This is one of my top choices. I'm re I, I really want it, but I think what's holding me back is that Intuit has a rotational program and Microsoft doesn't. And I think that that's where I'm really stuck. I also have on-site interviews coming up with Google, Uber, and Indeed. So what I'll do is if you increase my signing bonus from $20,000 to $30,000, I'll cancel all my interviews and I'll sign Microsoft. And my heart just freezes and I'm like terrified what he's going to say. And this man literally laughs and goes, that's all it's going to take for you to sign. And at that moment, moment, I knew immediately I should have asked for more. And he like kind of chuckles again. He's like, yeah, man, we can, we can make that work. And he's like, but here's what I'm going to do for you. I don't make the decision on this. I'm going to go back to the team and I'm going to ask for $40,000. And Riley goes, ask the team and he gets me and they come back and they offer me 35. But like I, Riley could have just told them like the kid wants 30. Let's just give him 35 to be happy. So I, I don't really know what going on over there when I went on on the other side. But I do know is that I should have asked for way more money. And then we could have met in the middle and I definitely lowballed it. These tech companies put a ton of money into recruiting people. And when you get an offer, they want you. And they're willing to pay for you. You are a valuable asset to them. I ended up getting to Microsoft and the amount of people that I met that got a higher signing bonus than me and more stock than me and had no competing offers and no other interviews has driven me insane. I don't want you to make the same mistake I did. I want you to maximize your offer. I talked to a ton of people on how they maximize their offer. And these are my tips for getting the highest offer possible. So number one, always negotiate. They are never giving you what they're most willing to pay. They want to save money because they just spent 50 plus grand to recruit you. They're trying to save money now. So they're going to give you the lowest offer possible. And the lower you take, the lower they're going to have to pay you over multiple years. Because if you only get a 5% increase any, every year and you start at a lower, they're going to save money on the long run on you. So always, always make sure that you're negotiating. The things that you can negotiate typically are going to be your signing bonus, your stock, and that's it. You're not going to be able to negotiate your salary. Usually with these programs like Google APM, Microsoft Intuit, they have budgets for how much they can pay you and they're going to cap you at a certain salary. So typically don't try to negotiate your base salary. That, that's not going to move. They've had a flat rate. But what you can negotiate and what you should is your stock and your signing bonus. Be a little aggressive. You should probably ask for a little bit more than you think. Like, I wanted 30, but you know, I should have just asked for 40 so that they would come down. And I think one of the things that really helps with this is try to talk to other people, as many people as possible, to find out what they're getting paid. That way, you can kind of negotiate, see what the willingness is. Reddit is a great place for this as well. And if you made friends with the other mock interviews, hopefully they can help you as well. What I will say is they're not going to pull your offer. If you ask for double, the recruiter is just going to laugh at you and tell you you're ridiculous. No one is going to pull your offer, so don't let that be a concern. Number four, the recruiter is on your team. They want you to get hired. They've put a ton of time, money, and resources to get you hired. So they want you to accept your offer and be happy. But I will say one of their goals is to get you to accept the lowest offer possible. They're going to be basically, they're going to know what that allowable range is for your offer in terms of stock um, and your signing bonus, salary, and what's realistic. So they can help guide you 
but ultimately they're not the ones making the decision. They're going to take your offer back to the hiring committee and they're going to say, this is what they're asking for. And then they're going to give it back to you. And then you can go back and forth. I had a friend that went back and forth with his team negotiating three times. So trust your recruiter a bit. Don't ask them what's the most, but just realize that they're most likely not out to get you. Finally, I want you to use anything you can to negotiate. I, my strategy was essentially that I put a dollar amount on Intuit's rotational program. I didn't necessarily believe that, but that was something that I felt I could leverage. I said that basically that I was interested in Intuit because of that program, but if Microsoft paid me more, I would take it, even though Microsoft had already offered me significantly more. Don't think you need an offer that pays more to negotiate for more. You can basically use different things as leverage, such as location, product, anything. I know multiple kids who got higher stock than me and they didn't have any interviews or any other offers. They basically said, I just need this amount to sign and they'll go back with that. So use anything you can to leverage to get a higher amount, but don't be afraid to go then there and ask for more with nothing.